Hey guys, it's Montana with Craft, and today I'm going to show you how to make a little teapot like this. First, be sure to like and subscribe, and then we'll get started. We'll start by grabbing half of our clay brick, warming up the clay by smacking it against the palms of our hands, and then rolling it into a ball. You can roll your clay into a ball on your surface or in your hands, smoothing out any creases with your fingers. Once you have a round ball of clay, mark the middle, then holding the ball in your non-dominant hand, push your thumb into the middle of the ball without piercing through. Use your four fingers to pinch down on the walls of the clay and use your thumb to pull up on the clay from the inside so you can make a pinch pot. We want to keep pinching and pulling until the walls of our pot are about a quarter of an inch thick or three fourths of a centimeter thick. To make your pinch pot a bit rounder, focus more on pinching the clay in the middle of the pot and leave the top portion a bit thicker. Perfect your pinch pot by smoothing out cracks with your fingers or a tool. If you want to level the rim of your pinch pot, feel free to grab your trimming tool and trim some clay off the rim of your pot. Now let's set aside our pinch pot and start molding the spout of our teapot. Grab some more clay, roll it into a ball, and then start to roll it into a thick coil by guiding the clay up and down on your surface or up and down in your hands. You'll want to taper your coil so it's thicker on one side. Then shape the spout in your hand to give it a curve like this. I'm pushing down on the middle of my spout with two fingers to get that curve. Continue to trim and shape your spout as needed. Then secure it in your hand so it doesn't lose its shape. Take your needle tool and move it gently through the middle of your spout to make a tunnel. You can widen this tunnel by moving your needle tool in a circular motion. Before you attach your spout, place it on your pinch pot and again use your needle tool to make a hole in your pinch pot moving the needle tool from the spout all the way through your pinch pot and smooth with your fingers or tools. To attach our spout, we'll score our pieces by drawing X's or hashtags just along the clay that's coming into contact with each other. I'm using my needle tool for this. Dab the stored areas with water and firmly push them together. Use your fingers or spoon-shaped tool to blend them together. Now, let's add a handle to our teapot. So grab another chunk of clay from your bag, roll it into a ball, then roll it up and down into a lawn coil. Shape your coil into the shape you'd like for your handle and trim as needed. We'll store the ends of our handle and the section of our teapot it will attach to. Dab the stored areas with water and attach. Blend your handle into your teapot using your spoon shape tool. To add security to your handle, wrap a little baby coil around each point of your handle like a ring. Then starting from the middle of the coil, take your spoon tool and blend the coil down into the teapot and then up into the handle.
Now our teapot just needs a lid. So grab the rest of your clay, roll it into a ball, and then we'll flatten the clay out into one even slab using a rolling pin or any equivalent tool. Your slab should be about the same thickness as the walls of your teapot. Now let's carve a circular lid from our slab of clay, just a little bit bigger than the opening of our teapot. Using some of the leftover clay from your slab, roll out another ball of clay and then roll that ball of clay into one more long coil. We'll shape this coil into a ring that can fit snugly inside the top of your teapot. So use your teapot as a reference like this. Then we'll store our coil and our lid and attach the coil to the lid. Blend the coil with your spoon tool. Feel free to check to see if your lid fits inside your teapot. If not, grab your trimming tool and trim the sides of your coil like you see me doing here. To add a little circular handle to your lid, grab one more little chunk of clay and roll it into a ball. Mine is about the size of a grape. Score the bottom of your clay ball and one little point of the top of your lid and attach. We'll blend that handle in by wrapping one last little coil around the ball and blending the coil with our spoon tool, pulling the clay from the coil down into the lid and then up into the ball of clay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and let us know what you want to learn next.